The Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office sounding the alarm about a growing issue on our roadways. Deputies are seeing an increase in people getting high before getting behind the wheel. Patients with medical marijuana cards may not realize they're even breaking the law. News Force Taylor Mitchell has more. The Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office says as a result, they're seeing an increase in crashes, fatalities and accidents. They're wanting to stress the medical marijuana card does not mean you can drive high. Not unusual at all to pull somebody over who's swerving and weaving and have them roll down the window, big smile on their face. They're holding out their medical marijuana card and their driver's license, and they think that medical marijuana card is a get out of jail free card. Aaron Brilbeck with the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office says driving under the influence of drugs carries the same penalties as any other narcotic. So if you're caught driving high, you're going to jail. If it turns out that you're, we believe that you are intoxicated, we can ask you to go to the, uh, the hospital, get a blood draw done. A blood draw is going to show me exactly how intoxicated you are. All Oklahoma County deputies are trained to spot the signs of driving under the influence of marijuana. The eyes are red, they're slurring their speech. Dr. Melinda Kale says marijuana can alter your state of consciousness. So operating a car or truck can be dangerous to you and others on the road. Well, just like with any drug, whether it's a prescription pain medicine or a muscle relaxer or an anxiety medicine or alcohol, you don't want to operate heavy machinery. In Oklahoma County, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. This year, ODOT reported distracted driving was still the leading cause for crashes on Oklahoma highways.